So I just want to welcome everyone for being here today. Um, I think it's a really exciting day for not only Bishop McDonnell, but obviously uh, the Cambridge Lions organization. To have a player of Marco's caliber join the Windsor Lancer family, we're ecstatic. We know he's the type of individual who's going to lead both on and off the field. And we know with his nose for the football, uh, he's going to get a chance to compete right away. And hopefully that opens the door for a lot of other individuals in this program and in this high school to say, hey, there's something special we can do. So let's get this thing signed up. <laughs> Welcome to the family. All right. Awesome. I'm really thankful that just I got to bring everyone together who got me to this place because I couldn't have done it without them. Uh, all my teammates from the Lions and BMAC and all my coaches from Lions and BMAC uh, really helped me throughout my whole process of uh, developing into the player and the person I am today. I just, it was, it was very, uh, I, I was emotional just to see everyone here together. I picked Windsor because it felt like home from the, the minute I stepped foot on that field. Uh, the first camp I ever did there, it was just, it felt like home. The energy there was different than any other place I'd been. And uh, the people there, which is something that's really important to me, is the people, because if the football ends, what do you got? And, uh, and, and the people there were different than everyone else. And I really, I, it, it just felt like home from the start. They're my first offer. And I, I just, it always was my place. So that's why I decided to be a Lancer. With someone like Marco, I think the big thing is, yes, he's aggressive and yes, he's a tackling machine, but really what stood out to us was his knowledge of the game. He seems very mature in terms of how he's able to read plays, be in the right spot all the time, and I think that's going to really play well into helping replace some of our guys who are graduating moving forward. You know, I started out with the Cambridge Lions uh, when I was five years old. It was just, it, it was the only opportunity for me to play football, and you know, my dad was an old football player back in, back for the GGs, and uh, he, he actually got me into the game, and then went through the years through multiple different coaches, different coaches who gave me different things like, I, like you saw today, different variety of coaches all the way from tyke football all the way up to senior varsity. You know, I, got, I, got, I had all my coaches out here today who helped me become who I am, and that's what the Lions organization was for me. It's really the development that made me the player and also, like I said earlier, the man I am today uh, because of the people that were involved in the Cambridge Lions organization. You know, it's always been the top tier uh, product in, the, in my region, so you're always competing against the best, and you know, that also made me better just to know that I'm sizing myself up against the best product in the area. Obviously the natural ability, uh, but him as a leader, like he steps in as a great 11. It's not easy to come in as a young guy and be a leader. He steps in and has no fear to step up into that role and take on at, you know, all that responsibility of, you know, we, we have a complicated system, picking it up right away and executing his job at you know, the highest level. Like he was, you know, he was an all-star for us in Cambridge and, and he just played unbelievable. He, he held us down. Without Marco, we're, you know, we're not the number two defense in the province. He, he, he's an amazing player, amazing kid, hardest worker that you'll, you'll be able to find. He's always in the weight room, always trying to learn and, and develop his football knowledge. Um, and, and all of that encompassing is what makes him, you know, led to this day and made him an absolutely phenomenal player. He's bought into the Cambridge way. Uh, he is a leader uh, of, of men, right? Uh, and there's a reason why uh, BMAC has a championship in 30 some years, right? And, you know, you can be a great athlete, but can you get people to be better around you? And Marco makes people better, right? So when he's on the football field, yeah, he's a, he's a, he's a heck of a football player, but he makes everybody else better. And not just with his football play, but with his character, right? Uh, you know, he volunteers in the community. Uh, he makes sure that people understand what it means to be a football player. It's, a, it's, a, it's an honor to be called a football player, right? And uh, he really takes up the heart. Bishop Mack was my favorite football experience I've ever had. Uh, you know, I only got to play three years here because of the COVID year. But, uh, you know, as soon as we got back on that field, it was just a family from the start. Going through generations of being the, the grade 10, growing up with the guys and always always feeling like I was, I was a fit with the team. You know, the Bishop Mack family and the kind of our motto, we kind of brought everyone in and everyone was respected equally. We didn't have a divide from grade nines to twelves. Everyone was just brothers on this team and even sisters at one point with Martina. Uh, we all were, we all just a big family and it's, you know, everyone says they got a family, but BM for me was really just a great family. We just, you know, we developed this program throughout the years and I'm just so happy to be a part of it. You know, coming from our first ever year together, beating GCBI for the, making history first playoff game win since 1989 and then 
we moved up all the way to the first championship since 87, I think. So that was just absolutely an amazing experience that just that's what BM was for me. Marco is amazing in, in all aspects. When he's on the field, every single opponent plans for him. Everyone fears that when he's going to be on the field. When he is off the field, he is the gentlest. He's so, he coaches the other players up in a very good supportive way. He's also the first one to volunteer when we do different things in the community. Sometimes we read to elementary school children, things like that. He's the first one. I, I remember once I, I had to say to him, Marco, I need your help. And before I could even say help, he was up and out of his seat and said, yep, whatever you need, let's go. And that's a fantastic attitude. You can't teach that. He innately has it, and he's just going to do wonderful things. You know, I like to thank my parents, obviously, for just supporting me throughout the years, all, uh, all 11 years of my football. Of course, thank all my coaches, Coach Christian Curiata, Coach Steve Paul, Coach Will, Coach Will McMahon, who's not with us anymore. Uh, all my teammates throughout the years, from uh, the Cambridge Lions and Bishop McTonnell, and uh, as well as Julie for keeping the program alive. Uh, so I wouldn't have high school football without her. I'm just thankful for uh, everyone along my journey. Number 40, that's Marco Piccioni. Hey, Marco, why don't you give us a hurdle? He leaps over the Royals defender. Piccioni with a first down and more. The Celtics moving down the field. His pass is picked off by Marco Piccioni. And how about this? Piccioni is a clear lane to the end zone. It's a pick six for the first touchdown of the game. Bishop McDonnell jumping out to a 10-0 lead. 